Hey guys, welcome back to Nino Kuni 2 Revenant Kingdom. And in this episode, now that we've destroyed the monster that was in the hard woods, we got the wood that we need to build our ship. But a couple things have happened in between episodes. You notice I leveled up a fair amount. I don't know why Tani is so low level, it's taking me off, but outside of that, we've also done a ton of side quests in Gold Paw, and as a result, our kingdom's looking pretty sick, all right? Like, I'll be honest with you. I wanted to, like, spruce things up a bit so we can get a little bit closer to our next sort of upgrade. And so far, like, we have a lot of new facilities. And just, I got a lot of king guilders, too, which is nice. We also have 21 citizens now. That's a lot of people. A lot of these were obtained from doing various, like, acts around Golpa. And I'm starting to realize that this game was actually masterfully designed, like... When you do a side quest in another game, sure, you might get some materials and it doesn't really give you much benefit and it might kind of stink and you're like, ah, oh, I wasted time. Why am I bothering doing side quests? Why don't I just do the main story, right? Nino Kuni 2 is different. It's just like, no, everything you do in this game is important to some degree. And I stinking love that so much. It is so goddamn crazy. Like, we have a new uh, weaponsmith dude that's working on the uh, workshop and just, holy crap, I think, uh, yeah, newbie. <laughs> These names are so great. And we've made big uh, progress with that. Our um, outfitters are also like working on some new stuff, I'm pretty sure. We have a general store now, which is level one currently, but we got that lady working there. It's like her best role. The uh, spell works, now there's two people there. Uh, the cooking shop is the same, but we have this bazaar which is pretty cool and passively as things go on like this is gonna be generating us like revenue and we also have a mining company I like that tiny works there by her lonesome she has fun it's it's nice we have the Explorers Guild too now and uh, I love the Higglery a little bit like I'm getting some like stuff there but things are starting to come together like everybody just has sort of like their own little station and stuff and just holy crud it's stinking awesome I love this game so much like it's just, I can't even put it into words, like, on this spot, I'm just like, it's fun, y'all, get it? Like, it, once you finally kind of get down the mechanics, it's a lot of fun. But what I'm trying to work towards is now leveling up our kingdom to level two. I'd like to expand the coffers, but we can't do that yet for some reason. Um, I don't know why. I think we have to be level two or something. Because I'm pretty sure, yeah, it needs kingdom level two or more to expand the coffer. Yeah, 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 it says it right there in the red. But, um... So I'm trying to get some more uh, citizens and stuff. The downside to not doing the side quests on screen, because I'll be honest with you guys, a lot of the side quests were very, very um, minimal. It's just a little story. You go do a thing and beat a dude. But there is one side quest I really do want to show you guys, because it is pretty amazing. So to show you guys this, I had to revert another save and make it to chapter 5 again, but I don't know. This one just has such good character development, I could not, like, leave it out, so... To start it, you gotta talk to these two, Excuse and... Me. Are you alright? What's the matter? Hey. Hmm. Oh, look, Mother, it's King Evan. We should ask King Evan to help us. Oh. Quite yappin', Pop. We don't need anyone's assistance. We'll cope just fine on our... What, 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 what? But is there anything we can do? We'd be happy to help, really. Could you at least tell us what the problem is? Yeah, like, yeah. come on. Well, if you must know. We recently set out to pay visit to Capstan upon Hall, but we never made it there. A vicious monster attacked us on the way. Oh my god. It seems like it preys on children and they affirm the brute. It is so cowardly to pick on anyone its own size. We put out a call to local monster hunters, but the craven creature slunk off and hid. Now the hunters think us liars. That sounds like a pretty cunning monster. It's terrorizing people, but nobody's going after it. And we can do nothing ourselves to stop it. So, how are you going to get a capstan? Um, we will have to go by boat. It takes a lot longer, but at least the brute cannot attack us at sea. That's not a solution. It makes things way harder. Not just for you, but for everyone else headed that way. I'm sure it will move on eventually. Such opportunistic creatures always do. And once it has, we will have able to make our way to Capstan upon and he's... No. No. No way. I'm not going to let this happen. Uh, are, are you alright, Roland? Uh... We don't give in to bullies. 
We can't let them have their way, and we won't. Uh, um... But, uh... We'll take care of the monster for you. You said it attacked you on the way to Captain Upon All? Yes, that's right. It runs away at the first sight of soldiers on the march. But you smaller numbers should draw less attention. Uh-huh. Good. Come on, Evan. Uh, um, alright. God dang. Why is Roland so... <sighs> Guess my boy really wants to go fight some monsters. Alright, god dang, dude. All right, here we are on the path to Capstan. Oh god, I did not know it was a dragon. Uh, should probably use my tactics tweaker to help us out. But you know what? Yo, oh my god, this thing is the uh, windworm. I get. Oh, what the crud? Well, uh, you wanted to fight him so bad, roll and go for. It. Oh my god, this thing's a wuss. What the crud? We can totally take this thing on. It's just like, okay, we're not doing like insane damage to it or anything, but like. Seriously, it's not that tough. What the crud? This thing's just a big fat bully. You can't even do nothing. You know what, stinking? Eat my new gun attack. I learned it from a wizard who taught me bullets. Oh my gosh, that actually does a lot. Oh my god. Maybe Roland's meant to just use his gun primarily. I don't know, but I, I got hit one time. You suck. Like a lot. What the dump? That was so easy. All right, that well, understandable, I guess. We did power up a fair amount, but uh, crap, dude. All right, things are pretty easy if you never end up getting hit. But uh, All right. I like this little part. There, the route from Goldpaw to Capson is safe again. Now the mother and son we met won't have to take the long way around. A uh, cool huh? is something wrong. I mean, yeah, yeah, you just seem very determined to help these specific people out, and it's just I was thinking when you told us about what happened. You got very angry, Roland. i never seen you like that before. You're usually so calm and collected. What happened? Uh, oh, that. It was when the mother said we should just let the monster have its way. It reminded me of something. Uh, what? I must have been about your age, I guess. These kids from the neighborhood were bullying me. What? Uh, you got bullied, Roland? How? What sure. the... And I had my gun back. I mean, <clears throat> sure. And I was a pretty small kid, so there's no way I could fight them off. Whatever they did to me, I just had to take it. And I was coming home from school crying every day, and my mom got pretty worried. That was the worst part. I didn't mind the bullying, but I hated seeing her like that. Crud. So, I knew I had to do something. That's when I picked up my first sword. It was just a toy, but I didn't care. I did what I could to stand up for myself. I had to. You can't give in to bullies. It's as simple as that. If you try to put up with it, you always wind up losing something. Crud. <laughs> so, when I heard that lady say what she did, I guess it got to me pretty bad. Sorry, I shouldn't have gotten carried away like that. Hey, man, <laughs> took it out on the dragon, it's cool. It was all right, Roland. I'm glad you're able to be honest with me. Now, I'm sure than ever that I made the right choice in making you my chief consul. <laughs> Thanks, Your Majesty. Mm. Right, let's go back to Golpaw and tell our friends the monster's been taken care of. Yeah. Did you get bullied by dragons, Roland, by any chance? Nope, probably not. And now I think about it, I told my son the exact same story once. Hmm. All right, one dead dragon. You got it, lady. We took care of that monster for you, ma'am. You won't need to go the long way around anymore. <laughs> you did? Oh, goodness. Did you hear that, my darling boy? The route to Capstan is safe again. What the? the hooray! <laughs> you are a true hero. You are my little friend. Are... I want to be like you someday. Do you have any advice for me? <laughs> oh, boy, do I ever. So there's a thing called a gun. Let me see. The first thing you need to do is learn to use a sword. The most important thing is that you take good care of your mother. Dang, Golly. that's solid advice. Roland really does remind me of father sometimes. Huh? Uh, did you say something, Evan? How did you not hear? You're basically in his earlobe. Oh, who knows? Just thinking how lucky I am to have someone to depend on as you look after me. Aw. Wait, you don't want to come back to my kingdom? We did that for nothing then! God uh, Oh, well. A good <laughs> deed is its own reward, and... You wouldn't have said that if 
You have seen me at your age. <laughs> Luckily, I am older and wiser and stronger now. Oh yeah, you are pretty old, right? I can always forget that, and if I'm gonna put any of that use in saving your world, all the hard work I put into coming this far, will have been worthwhile. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. I'll be counting on you, Roland. <laughs> I'll be counting on you. Crud. I don't know about you, I'm just... I like that one. It's cute. Like, let's just be honest. And, uh, on top of that, uh, we can actually change how the characters look. I did not know this till today. But if you press options, when you complete certain quests, you get outfits. How goddamn cool does Roland look right now? You, you can't, you can't tell, like, okay, it's kind of like, looks like a samurai, but you know what I mean. Holy crud, I like that a lot. I don't know why we can't be him in the overworld, though, but now that we've taken care of that, and, uh, yeah, I don't know, like, just the fact I can teleport wherever I want, when I click on a teleport thing, it says, like, oh, this is the, uh, fastest route, like, since I need to return here, do that, like, oh my gosh, I can't even put into words how, like, nice this game is. Like, they, they thought of legit everything, I kind of feel like, but, uh, now that little detour's finished, and the citizens of Capstan don't have to worry about giant dragons anymore. Yeah, can you build us this ship? We got the materials and everything, so there should be no excuse anymore. What do you say? You bugged a load of quality timber from Force Denial? Oh, you're one, you're lad. What does that even mean? There's only right good wood. Comes over that way. I can't wait to get on it. Uh, okay. Don't worry about fetching it, huh? I thought it puts the service. Okay, that takes care of that. Do you guys want to, like, we carpool over there? Let's get it moving on, shall we? Okay, okay. We got a log or two to be shifted. <laughs> yeah. More than two. I like this, though, man. Crud. And just like that, Evan had found himself the finest boat builders in all the land, and some timber worthy of their expert attention. Eager to get to work after their recent ordeal, the men of Capstan set about putting together a ship fit for a king. And before long, a magnificent vessel that no wave could hope to topple was all but ready to set sail. Dang! Holy crap, that looks awesome! Oh my gosh! This is really ours? <laughs> Alright, like, holy... Dang, it's got everything! Wow, it's amazing. I love it! Yeah, I do too. Good. This means we'll be able to set sail for Hydropolis soon. Yeah, no kidding. Holy crud. Jeez. Right. Their Majesty... Uh, me and lads are wondering, you'd not be bothered if we decided we wanted to go and... ...live with you over and evermore, would ye? What? No, no! Come on, bro! R really? Aye. Building this beauty put the love of crafting right back in us. A few more like this in us. If you'll give us means to make them. Uh, yeah, oh, crud, get to work on the whole fleet, man. And besides, you don't know his first thing about boats. You only get me this, uh, run the rack ruin for us to look after her. It, I don't know what you just said, but yo, get- I suppose you're right. <laughs> if you'd like to join us. We are so happy to have you. <laughs> That's lucky, cause I don't know. I don't think Righty will welcome us back. Now I've jumped ship to <laughs> What? So you you left before? Okay, welcome to the party, Catch. Shall all set sail. Well, nearly. I had to take her out for test run and make her final tweaks yet. Oh, okay. Flipping it. What? So we can't get on voyage right away? No, look at that. Do you want to be stranded at sea? Let them take their test run. Sorry, lass. Need a final bit in Bob Bourne before she'll set sail. Oh, oh, okay, that, that's fine. Uh, so we've got some time on our hands. Let's put our affairs in order while we get the chance, eh? Uh, yeah, I guess. Let's head back to Evermore and plan our next move. All right. Sounds good to me. Crud. Now that like I'm actually kind of developing Evermore, I don't feel bad about going back, and it's kind of nice that like you can do it so quickly. It's cool. I don't know when. So what kind of place is Hydropolis? Do they have nice food? They better. It's a nation built on the ocean. Where merfolk and humans live side by side. It's ruled over by a queen named Nere. As for food, I believe the fish is very good this time of year. Oh, sick. Blimey. You know everything, don't you? Hey, you just read like five <laughs> books. Just how to read, that's all. <laughs> 
I'm really looking forward to adding another nation to our union. I should be interested to see how kingdoms are ruled too. You still have so much to learn. Baby steps, man. That's what I like to hear. Oh, hey, co yo. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, cover up! <laughs> Your Majesty! She's all fitted out and ready. Oh god, I forgot my pants! Uh, we've launched uh, by the coast nearby. All you gotta do is climb aboard and get going. Yes. Sick. That's wonderful news, Ketch. Thank you so much. But in this kingdom, we wear pantaloons. <laughs> Alright, everyone. It's time to make voyage to Hydropolis. Dang, I can't wait. I've been waiting to see what the crud's up in this water city. is thing at Sonic level for like a while. What? The Dude! So this is how we're gonna... No way. Can we just... Is it like old school? It is! Oh my gosh, it's just like Final Fantasy. Yeah, I'm so happy right now. The good Final Fantasies. <clears throat> anyway. All aboard, looks like a tidy. All right, time to set sail for seas unknown. Who's the rubber? Swap the mainsail. We're off. What does that even mean? Okay, how do we control the ship? All right. Yeah, there, wait. The United States ship via the field map. And once you're aboard, we'll be able to set sail. Can we teleport straight to the ship, though? That'd be nice. Disembark, press the coast, and press X. However, be aware that you won't be able to... Go near cliffs and other obstacles. All right, so it is just like Final Fantasy. You use travel spell to jump to the trip. Ooh, that makes me happy! Holy crud, this is awesome! Oh my gosh. I don't know what it is about the water. Maybe it's because I was just born in a peninsula and all that crap. Ooh. Wait, Wavern? Wait, what? That's just a... So they're not water... They're not all water slimes. Those are just water enemies. Interesting. Well, some of them are slimes from the looks of it. What the crud is up here? Man, honestly, I'm getting some Wind Waker flashbacks. And if you guys know me, I love Wind Waker so much. Probably one of my favorite games ever. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I want to fight a Wavering, though. Is it? Are we already here? Is this it? It might just be. What the crud is up with that, though? Uh, I'm going to steer clear of that little scenario. But Oh my gosh, yeah, we... We crossed the sea just that fast. We're already at the new city. This looks amazing. Holy crud, dude. I know it. We just like, all right, John, you, you took a boat from one side of the world to the other. But seriously, like, this game is just, I can't even put, I still can't put into words how amazing this is. This is so cool. Oh my gosh, this place is beautiful. It looks like, kind of like Greece a little bit. I don't know. Nah. What the dump is that? Uh. Okay. There's just a SMT eyeball staring at us. Oh no, bot too seasick. We're here at last. Hello, Hydropolis. Mm. It's ever so pretty. And the weather's lovely and warm. Ah. Uh, lovely, my eye. I never been so seasick in all my day. You're a pirate. What? Uh. <laughs> Roland's just like, haha. <laughs> nerd. An unfamiliar vessel. Inform Arkham Leander right away. Uh, yes, yes uh, with all haste. This thing is Zora looking dudes. Oh, yeah, I guess all those right. are the Murph folk. All right. We're thinking the best way to approach Queen Nerey. Uh, ask her out on a date. I don't. Pretty gift of do from back home. A few sweet words to do the job nicely enough, I'd wager. Eh, she's the queen, though. You never know. Really? I can't help thinking it won't be quite that simple. Well, let's not curse it by getting all miserable, shall we? I'm sure it'll be a very nice woman. He'll be happy to have a chat with us. Or she could not be. Who knows? I will never understand why the people love you so, Leander. Weak, insipid man. But love you they do. Without you, I would be nothing. That is what they whisper, is it not? Without you, our nation would be nothing, Your Majesty. I, above all others, know this. But the people cannot know this. Foreign powers cannot know this. If they did... If they did? Then what, exactly? then your life would be in danger. Malign forces would plot your downfall. This is the way of power. So I put myself forward. If the people see me, 
deal with me. They can only become discontented with me, can only wish to harm me. So all that you do, you do for your queen. You would give your life for her without a moment's hesitation, yes? Not without reason, your majesty. But if it might prolong your life for a single second, that would be reason enough. Such a death would bring honor upon me, upon my entire line. Insipid you may be, but you are occasionally amusing. You are too kind, your majesty. What the heck? This dude really likes his fish girls. Uh, well, you wish to see me? Yes. Your Majesty, a ship has arrived from a foreign land. It's a vessel unknown to us, but most likely it brings travelers, or perhaps traitors. Mm. Is that so? Uh, God, this kid, this lady's scary. What? Well, whoever they are, they must obey the word of the law. There will be no exceptions. Is that understood? Not a single infraction can be tolerated. Not one. Do I make myself perfectly clear? By uh, all means. Perfectly, your majesty. Well, she does not seem like a nice lady. Got Let's see. Right, oh. Let's have a little stroll, shall we? And see what we can see. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, sounds good. What the hell? Hey there. Let us know when you're ready to set sail, your majesty. Take your time, enjoy the sights. Tis a fine old town. And no more mistake. Except their queen, she's evil. I don't... When you're ready to set sail, however, you need us. You have fun now. Ha! Oh. Okay, whatever! What? I guess, well, that's nice. We gotta talk to this dude to get out of here. Um, crud, man. I kinda just wanna explore. So what's up with you, man? Catching anything good? Not very talkative. Either that or the game just will not let me talk. What a sad existence. So with you. What's going on? You're visiting here, I believe. From a distant kingdom. Tell me, what sort of hunting takes place there? Uh... Evan's just like... I don't really know, actually. <laughs> I never really crossed my mind. I guess they have pigs or crap. This is a... Gosh, it's beautiful, but uh... I don't know what to make of this place. It kind of reminds me of Veteran Odyssey, specifically the third game. It has a very, like, nautical feel. And then you find out. Well, I don't want to spoil nothing, but, uh, th let's just say things get pretty interesting in that game, and I'm kind of, like, getting a sense of that vibe from here, and I'm just like, let's walk lightly, I don't want to... I should just stop talking. <laughs> I love that game so much, but I love this game, too! Holy crud, um, you, stop right there. Oh, god dang it, what was I just... We should have walked lightly, uh... <laughs> like, I like his fin shoes, that's cool. All foreign visitors to Hydropolis must undergo questioning. Before being permitted entry. We already, we already did that. We're, already, we're permitted entry. <laughs> Just started lying. So your purpose here. Have you simply come to visit or trade, perhaps? Uh, I want to date with your queen. Is that okay? You've traveled here from Evermore. A new country in the heartlands. I'd like to request an audience with Queen Nere. I have heard of su no such nation. And the queen offers audience to no one. It would seem your journey has been wasted. <laughs> Lofty's just like, ah, man, was I always gonna be like, dude? Something tells me the news of Illustri Kingdom hasn't spread too far just yet. Mm -hmm. You'll have it soon. They'll be singing our praises from the rooftops next time we're in town. You'll see. Excuse me. Yeah, probably once we, I don't know, save them from imminent doom. Next, you must answer, or you must swear to abide by the four pillars of the law. Four pillars. What are they? Pillar 1, it is strictly forbidden to harm one's fellow man. Pillar 2, it is strictly forbidden to ascend any of the high places of Hydropolis. Pillar 3, sickness is strictly forbidden. What? Pillar 4, the last and most important, love, is absolutely and completely forbidden. Under any circumstance. What? What? That's such a w- <laughs> To the words I'm up- That's so weird. To the people, Hydropolis, it is nothing of the sort. There is no greater crime than to love. As long as you are a guest here, you will remember this. On pain of the most severe punishment. That will be all! Okay, okay, okay. <sighs> Make sure not to hold no girl's hand when I'm here, alright? God, uh... So watch for strolling up with a gift or two for Queenie. 
I wager she's as warm with her welcomes as our friend. Yeah. We still don't have a whole lot about her. If we're going to do this right, we'll need to learn more. And there's only one thing to do for it. Mm. Yes. Come on, let's explore the town. I'm sure someone will be able to help us. Or maybe not. No. Nah. Well, this tri where's the trip door? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I didn't realize what the angle, but uh. Yeah, this place is really weird. Oh, oh crap. This way leads to higher ground. It's forbidden. Okay. My bad. I view the ocean from up there is beautiful indeed. Such a shame. Oh man. <laughs> He's even like, man, these rules suck. But don't go up there. Not allowed. Crud. Should we just buy some crap? I don't know. Like, I'm really scatterbrained. This is just so exciting. It's a place I've never been before. Hey there. What's up with you? I'd love to. I mean, <laughs> I would enjoy purchasing some of your wares, Lady uh, Crud. Getting money in this game is really easy, too, by the way, because, like, See? your kingdom's always passively, like, collecting materials. Like, they're mining stuff, they're doing stuff like that. So, like, most of. What the dump is that? It's so creepy. Oh, this girl's cute. Crap, dude. Well, I, literally the n number four rule, and I can't sing it. God dang it, but uh, <laughs> I'm just mostly joking. About the, uh, I'd love to buy some stuff. Just, anyway, let's, uh, Trident Tested Armors. All right. I need to buy some stuff for, um, oh, that's a giant upgrade for her. At the same time, though, do I want to buy this stuff, or do I want to buy it from my own town? I think that would be smart. Oh, well, this is way better for Roland. I think I'm gonna buy it, and yes. Oh my gosh. See, I never bought stuff from a store and equipped it. God dang it, this game is so nice, dude. But uh, oh, please, come again. yeah, let's peace out. We gotta like track down some people that know what the crud they're talking about. Man, this is just how you make a good game, dude. Look at all this crud. There's blue people! There's... That's awesome. I don't know why that's awesome. They just are. Hello. Hello. I consider myself a collector of rare and precious treasure of the sea. My favorite is undoubtedly Calmly cool. Cool. I don't have any of that, so can't really relate. What's Neither. up with you? Do you know why love is forbidden here? No, I don't. I'd like to know. It's because it changes people, both for better and worse. Those who say Queen Nere knows nothing of love are very far from the mark, I suspect. So... Did she break up with someone and it's like, nope, all, all, all love is outlawed. That's kind of what it sounds like. Can you give us some insight, Granny? You're the visitors from a distant land, are you not? You must be surprised when you heard of all of our very particular laws. I can assume that we local folks are equally baffled. There would appear to be no rhyme or reason behind most of them. They're merely victims of Queen Nere's whims. The law for bringing love is surely the most ridiculous of all. We Hydropolitans have a long tradition of proposing to our intended ones, with an engagement ring made from calmly coral. What will become of this tradition now? No one knows what motives the queen. And we live in constant fear of what outlandish edict might be passed next. As for Arcanada, yeah, the way she treats him is nothing more short of a disgrace. This has to do with the glasses. The way she talks, though, makes it sound like this is kind of like a recent thing. Crud, what if it's with that snake, dude? I'm pretty sure that's what's going on here. Uh-oh. It's all you. <laughs> Lovely place, ain't it? This Hydropolis. I like staring at the sun, reflecting. <laughs> what if you just stop there? I like staring at the sun. See you later. I gotta go die. <laughs> reflecting off the sea. It's most dazzling than any diamond, if you ask me. Yeah, it'd be cool if we could see it from, I don't know, different angles. Whoa, look at this dude. Stinking Gaston looking behind. Do not wander at the number of rules and regulations. Wander at the reasons for their making. Behind each lies a sound and just reason. You say so, Dungus. I don't know about that. Let's see what's going on over here. I don't know how to split. Man, like, is it weird? I just want to have a whole episode exploring this place. I mean, we're going to have time to do so, but, like, compared to Goldpaw, it's a lot bigger from this, like... No, actually, no, it's, it's actually about the same size. Never mind. Oh, what the crud is it? Dang! They just straight up killed this thing. I mean, that's what fishermen do, right? But... Holy moly. Oh, so holy moly. Uh, anyway. <laughs> I'm so bad, dude. Anyway. Oh, you can't platform on the giant dead whale? That stinks. What's going on? Please, I'm busy. Speak to me when work is done. 
I, I believe when your work is done, you're gonna have some work for me from the sounds of it. But that's a, a, honestly, the side quests in this game were pretty darn fun. Yeah. I, didn't, I, I can't say I disliked any of them. Most of them were just fighting like world bosses, though. But you would not well to underestimate the city guard. They have eyes everywhere. Nothing escapes them. Nothing. Several of my acquaintances have been thrown into prison after being caught breaking the law. And they were certain that no one was watching. I don't understand how they do it. Maybe it's the giant eye. The guards seem to be able to sniff out at all wrongdoing whenever, wherever it takes place. It's as though they have a sixth sense. Some claim the Arkan leader, or Le Arkan Leander, what? Was wondering acute hearing. And that's how he knows of everything that happens in the kingdom the moment it happens. But surely that can't be true. Eh, you never know. But super hearing does not sound like the coolest superpower, just saying. <laughs> Well, let's see what's going on in the square. Oh my gosh, this 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 place is actually legit beautiful. Cause like, it's just so like wide open and like the seas like pretty much everywhere. Oh my gosh, I like it a lot. It's pretty. What can I say? Let's say, hey man, what's going on? Got any info for us? You ask what I know of Queen Nere. Uh, eh, now that you mention it, I realize that I know very little. Her Majesty seldom appears before people. The heck? I guess that's why the other dude's mostly in charge. Look, see the building with all the guards? That's the entrance to the palace. It lies on the ocean floor, you see. What? And at its stop stands, the eye of... Totally not Sauron, got it. It's supposed to symbolize the benevolence with her, which her majesty watches over us. But the rumor tells us it's actually being a device she uses to spy on her own people. Yeah, I don't know. Probably the latter. What? Whether this be true or not, we certainly never see her. Her interactions with the citizenry are conducted via the Arkan Lender. He, her most trusted aide and advisor. Okay. Some even say that in truth. It is he who rules over our realm. Uh... Crud. This is a very skeptical kingdom, but they have reason to be. It's so fishy. No pun intended. Like, okay, it's a little intended. I won't lie. What exactly is it that she does? Hmm. This is weird. Also, I like the music a lot. It reminds me of that famous song. I, I guess it's just the violins, though. I don't really know much about music. I wanted to be a singer, though, for the longest time. I never actually did it. Because I suck. But, <laughs> so I bring that up. I don't know why. I'm in a very, uh... This is just oddly nostalgic, but it's the first time I've been here. I don't know. Well, I'm not sure we learned an awful lot about Queen Nere. That'll be much use to us. No. Well, we sure heard a lot about this Leander character. Yeah. You thinking that swab might be our way in, Rolinard? Really? Interesting, yeah. If we can get to him, we might be able to use him to get one step closer to the queen. Oh, <laughs> she is, uh... She's a smart one. But how will we get to him? <laughs> I know, Mimi, ask me! All right, what's up, Lisa? Oi. What? Tell me, tell me, tell me! Actually, I'll fill you all in on details in a bit. Let's get us one of them, uh, thingamabobs first, shall we? Uh, thingamabob- You gotta be more specific, Lofty. Yeah, yeah, exactly! Let's try somewhere that sells accessories and that. Reckon they might have one there! Gosh! Uh, I don't quite understand, but alright then. God dang. <laughs> alright, I guess, uh, it's time to go shopping for something? Does he just want souvenirs? This way, oh crap. Hey, uh, I'm back. You ever do that? Like, crud. Sometimes, alright, this is really stupid, but after a workout where I burned a lot of calories, right, I'm like, crud, I need to, uh, go shopping and get some food, because, like, usually, like, right next to the gym, like, I live in a very, like, crowded area, so I was thinking, like, yeah. going places is really annoying, so I'll buy food, at the grocery store, eat it in my car, then go back in and buy my other food so I'm not, like, starving and buying food I don't need. This is how you can be unproductive, kids. Anyway. Yo, mate. Have to sell bright red coil rings, do you? <laughs> what do you want with such a thing? Never mind, sunshine. Have you got one or what? Uh, well, yes, a matter of fact, I do. Are we going to propose to the queen? What? But the law forbids me to sell such an item. I try to think of what Ark and Linder would react if we were to learn such a flagrant breach of the law. <laughs> uh, hey, just let me borrow it then. That said, as far as I know, there's no law that prevents me from simply giving you one. Oh, all I ask is you help me in return. 
Fair exchange, I'm sure you will agree. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. sure. Let's judge of that, man. All right, spit it out. We'll cut out the after. Okay. I have three orders awaiting delivery. I simply do not have the time to deliver them myself. I'd be grateful if you would oblige me. Uh, sure, we can do that, bro. Wait. This might not be one of those, like, I have to deliver them in a specific amount of time things. I'll be pretty mad. Radio, a spot delivery work in exchange for a nice cool ring. Don't sound too bad at all. Let's keep it moving, Evan! Uh, alright. I Is it? A sore sweet. Uh, yeah, we'll make that our quest, I guess. Okay, it isn't. So we just gotta, like, go around town and deliver these. Huh. Alright then. That's not so bad, I guess. Hello! I have a delivery from Trident Tested Armors. Hmm. My word. Never expected Ziphos to start using Taurus as delivery boys, but I have no reason to complain. Thank you, young man. Hey, <laughs> Yeah, like, what the why are you complaining, dog? <laughs> Not bad, huh? This hat makes me look uh, more handsome than ever. The ladies of Hydropolis will be unable to resist me. Yeah, but then they'll go to jail. But I thought you weren't allowed to fall in love. I uh, just, of course, I'll take more than a hat to cause one to... Play in his eye to fear falling foul of the band on love. Oh, you oh. poor guy. Yeah, your personality could use some work. In truth, it's a rather sad state of affairs. Still, must not dwell on it. Are there restrictions in place that trouble me far more? What? Like, all contentious topics are now prohibited in tavern conversation. What? Anyone who challenges the opinion of another is immediately apprehended by the guards. This kingdom sucks. I love arguing. <laughs> Even worse, ever since my friend fell from a rampart on this way home. Wait, yeah, from the inn. We're now forbidden from venturing to high places. I will never forget the face on Arkham Linder. And he arrived at the scene. It was as though the world itself were about to end. Wait, because your friend passed away? What? My friend was almost entirely unheard, but it was only a matter of hours before Queen Nere proclamated the new law in order to prevent it from happening again. Such a molly cutting is enough to make one despair. Please don't say that word. Ah, oh, forgive me. Rather than bemoan my own prohibitive circumstances, I must instead encourage you to enjoy your freedom. Goodness knows I envy you it. Uh, okay. This place is actually awful. Why is it like this? And how would I even deliver this other package? It's over there and I can't like get up the- What the dump, yo? So just because this stupid law, I had to go all the way around, like, god, like, I don't even know how I get back now. God dang it, you better enjoy this stinking whatever it is. Here's your delivery. Don't eat it all in one place, wherever the Thank credit is. Much. Wait, why would it be food if he sells armor up? But honestly, what a waste. A, a waste? What do you mean? Well, I'm a jeweler, and Zephos was once my biggest wholesale customer. But now that love is forbidden, the market for jewelry has dwindled dramatically. Package you have just handed me contains items that Zephos has been able to sell. Things are getting rather desperate, I must say. I would turn to the black market, but there's no escaping the unblinking gaze of the eye. Excuse me. But surely it can't see us here. Hmm. Wait. Can you use a reflection of the water? Nah, probably not. We've clearly not been hydropolis long. The eye sees all. Walls are no obstacle to its scrying magics. The crud? All of under its constant gaze. And as soon as it catches a glimpse of any wrongdoing, the gods come running. Many have not hesitated to pick up coins that fallen onto the street. Not because it's illegal, you understand, but simply out of embarrassment at being observed in the act. <sighs> Forgive me. You need not trouble yourself with my woes. Man, compared to Goldpaw, like... No, this place is, like, awful com... What the crud? Oh, I just realized how we get back. Well, that's cool. Can we actually swim? I don't know. No, it doesn't look like it. Like, seriously, I thought Gold Paul was bad. Like, really bad. Not because it was a town of dogs. That was actually the most positive part. But seriously, like, what is this place, man? And how do I leave? I think we pretty much have to, uh... No, I don't know if we have to just teleport, but, um... I'm just gonna do that to save time, alright? And to the last delivery, which is the dude we talked to. Hello. What's up, Gaston? Here you go. Hi. At last. I can barely express how anxious I've been waiting for it. Uh, okay. But what even use of it? I was utterly convinced that Queen Nere would grace her we. 
her loving citizens with her hallowed presence before it arrived, but gods be praised. It seems it has reached me in time. Okay, uh, so does she come out and greet the people often? Goodness, no. Why it must be, oh, decades since we left. Pfft, she's decades old? Holy crap, she looks like she's here 20. What? How old is she? It's merely a guess, of course, although it certainly feels that long. The cool with hyperbole, I don't know. <laughs> Suffice this to say that she has not emerged from the palace often. How long has it been since we gazed upon her radiant beauty? <laughs> Not that she need emerge when she was Arkan Leander to attend to her very win- I gotta learn to say that guy's name. <laughs> it is he who handled the day-to-day -day running of the kingdom. He is difficult to catch a glimpse of for entirely the opposite reason. His every waking moment is spent rushing around the city, attending to the affairs of state. Uh, Surprised he has any hair left. Some say that her majesty has grown almost too dependent on him. But I would never dare make such a suggestion myself, of course. <laughs> okay, then. That's all delivery's done. Now I'll tell you what, Mon. We didn't hear half the some juicy tales from the kingdom while we were at it. Yeah, that's true. We have a better understanding of what's going on. Come on! Let's go back trusted titan or whatever and get our reward. Yeah, but why do we need the ring, Lofty? You want to tell us? Like, I don't want to get into. Like, I don't know. I'm kind of shipping Tawny. There probably needs difference. I don't want you to get it. Thank you. Here's a cool ring, as promised. That I totally did not sell to you. <laughs> Here you go. That's beautiful, to mate. All that I ask is you inform no one of its provenance. In the name of the gods, do not allow the guards to see you wearing it. <sighs> you got it. Thanks for the EXP, bro. Uh, why do we need this? Come on, Lofty. Speak up. What's wrong with you? So that's the ring. It's one of the ones that women were talking about, isn't it? Excuse yeah, me. Yeah, an engagement ring, right? What do you mean to do with it, Lofty? Mm, I don't really know. I just wanted it. Something proper genius, that's what. But you'll have to do something to me. Wait, something for me. I'll let you in on my little secret. I have to promise to call me Mr. Director Sir. Boosh, Even it. Tawny. You're coming with me. What? Um, what is Lofty about to do? What the heck? 